Hi, this is Maka671 again, doing my second video on Walton Lane. Um, the western edge of the tooth is what I call it. Um, basically, I'm going to be going into detail on the access, the free parking again, um, on this whole area. Um, it's, uh, it's absolutely brilliant, the parking on the Thames. There's, there's so much free parking. You're spoiled for choice most of the time. I've just turned off of the A244 at Walton Bridge onto Walton Lane. Uh, there's free parking on the left here, uh, free fishing on the right as far as you can see pretty much, but there is a height restriction of 2.1 metres in the car park. Okay, I'm going to skip past the places that I showed you to the right hand side here on my last video and uh, go right to the end of Walton Lane before the second bridge, the exit bridge. Then I'll be starting my journey down the river to show you the swims from there. Okay, here we are at the free parking just before the exit bridge to Walton Lane. There's a sort of a T-junction at the bottom here. Um, there's also a shortcut you can take to the left of you. It's a bit of a drop down. I don't like to take it myself with lots of tackle, but it's a quick route to the point that I'll be showing you first. The swim directly in front of you that you can see, barely. Um, that's one of my favorite swims, again, on the Thames. I keep saying my favorite swims, but I do have a top sort of six or seven or eight maybe i think um, but it's an absolute blinder i've had some great perch and silver fish fishing from it with a little bit of ground bait in a feeder with a really long hook length you know sort of four to five foot hook length right midsummer though baking hot days so it, it just goes to show you there are big perch all around this sort of area I've had a bit of luck rolling luncheon meat in, I think it's the sixth swim up from this point. Uh, you can do quite lots of different types of fishing. You've got your feeder fishing, float fishing. In fact, there's every style of fishing that you want, carp fishing, barbel fishing. It's all here on this section. It's quite a cool bit of river, this. Um, you get um, two sort of flows. You get the slower, meandering old river flow to the right of us and the more modern man-made cut I call it the canal stretch there that tends to carry most of the flow from Shepparton Lock and Shepparton Weir which is just upstream to the right of me There's actually a swim that I didn't film today behind this, this clump of trees in front of me here. Um, it's quite tight, especially when the water's up high, so it wasn't really worth filming. I don't know if you can see that there's a massive slack area right in front of me there to the right. Uh, that's due to the water being pushed through the cut, as I like to call it, um, from Shepparton Lock. So there really is a massive difference. I've highlighted with an arrow a set of steps on the other bank. Um, to the right of me, just up there as well in the distance, is Shepparton Lock and Shepparton Weir. I've got one more video to make before that, and that's going to be the one that's on the main road here on the way out of here, uh, down to Walton Bridge, and actually past Walton Bridge and under it for quite a long way. It's quite a nice stretch there. Now this swim, it's uh, one of the first that are really sort of beachified in the summertime especially you gain quite a bit of shoreline um, in the height of the summer with the low water levels
it's a decent walk back to the T-junction area where we started this journey uh, on this footpath. Uh, there's one swim just before the actual T-junction. This swim has a decent amount of access when the water levels are slightly lower, but at the moment obviously they're a little bit high again. Um, what is it, the 29th, 29th of May 2021. Now this is coming up to that T-junction that I mentioned right at the beginning when we went through the gate. Um, this is a really, really nice swim, lots and lots of space. Uh, it gets quite busy though because you're sort of in an intersection for walkers. Uh, they can either go left or right, but they mainly go right and come past you. Um, I've had some decent luck in this swim. This is the one that uh, I have had some good luck with uh, rolling lunch and meat, but only small barbel. Uh, I've only had two out of this swim. I've had some good perch from here as well along this stretch, casting into the middle with a fishy ground bait feeder, nice lobworm and a long hook trace. I thought I'd skip straight to the next swim as it's uh, quite close to this one. This is a really great swim in the summer again, uh, with the lower water levels you, you tend to get quite a bit of beach, <laughs> which is nice and comfortable again if you're a little bit unstable on your pins. Uh, the other route down slightly easier I think to get to the swim. Uh, don't be fooled by the overhanging trees, they are very very shallow in summer levels. Now this is as far as I go when it comes to fishing myself personally, but uh, I'm going to take you to the end of this section, right up to the end of the tooth I call it. Uh, uh, I don't fish it at all, uh, never have done, uh, have a bit of a problem getting my tackle sort of at this distance.
So just before I leave, um, I've done this before on the last video for the first half of Walton Lane, um, but I'd wanted to just show on the way home again uh, the three laybys that you can park in to do a spot of fishing in the main cut to my left. Uh, so just keep your eye on the road on the way home and uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope it was informative. My next post will be uh, at the bottom of this road here, just before you get to the bridge, uh, Walton Bridge that is. You turn left just before it and uh, there's a little road down there, a bit of free parking up there as well with decent access to the river. And the river goes uh, a little way down a bit as well, past the car park. So I'll take you on a journey down there, uh, hopefully next time. Uh, lots more coming up. Uh, I'm just giving away all my little secrets and everything that I've learned over the last 40 years or so and um, just hope you hope you enjoyed the video thank you don't forget to hit the like hit the subscribe if you found it helpful and hit the bell if you want to be notified. notified uh, yeah notified when I post another video sorry about that